Hello everyone, welcome back. Today I am to be having a conversation with a lovely tutor from the USA on the app Camply. Camply is an app where you can practice your English with tutors from all over the world, from countries like the USA, the UK, Canada and many more. If you want to join the app Camply, then the link is given in the description box below. You can also use the code 22 Adreja. Using this code, you will get 22% off on any 3-month plan. Personally, Cambly helped in improving my confidence a lot and I'm sure it will help you as well. So without any delay, let's begin with the conversation. Hello. Hi. It's so nice to Hi. meet you again. It's so nice to see you again as well. How are you doing? I'm I'm well and what about you? I'm doing good. The fall is set in, so I'm excited to have my windows open. Yeah. Feeling the cool breeze. <laughs> right. That's so great. Also it's always my favorite season. So yes, the previous time we talked, you were in a hotel, right? Yes. The last time we talked, I was in a hotel. At this time, I'm actually in my boyfriend's music room. You can see to my yes. left here. Wow. Uh, he is a bassist, so he has a classical bass yeah. and an electric bass right here. <laughs> That's great. I know. He is a really good musician, and I'm very jealous of him a lot. <laughs> <laughs> right. So do you know how to play any musical instrument? I know a little bit of the guitar, but I'm not very good. What about well, you? Do I, you play any? Yes, I play the synthesizer, and I I love to actually learn how to play guitar. It's like I it's in my it's in the top of my bucket list. Like I need to, because you know you just get a guitar if you know how to play it. You can sing any song, like any song. It's true. If you if you can play just the regular notes on a mm -hmm. guitar, then you can become just any artist basically you can <laughs> sing any song as long as you look it up i personally can't read music so look up uh we, they are called musical tabs do you know them mm. yeah yeah just I've where it them. says the note that needs to be played mm. and then i kind of figure it out from there <laughs> that's good <laughs> So you play the synthesizer. So does that mean you play much more like modern style music or do you play the synthesizer with more classically styled music? Well, I'd say basically I know the basic piano notes on the synthesizer. <laughs> I've been learning it from like one year, I guess. So I'm not that professional. I basically I use the synthesizer just for singing songs. I just, you know, like just uh, uh, like use some chords and just sing a song that is what I do and you know that's all I learned on the guitar so I think that's perfectly fine to me mm. right. <laughs> my my boyfriend of course he can also play the piano and recently mm. he purchased a melodica do you know what melodicas are yes I, I've heard of them but yeah 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 they're they're kind of nice. Um, it's like a, a piano chord keys, mm. and then you blow to give right. it the, the sounds. He's having a lot of fun with it because it sounds like an accordion. <laughs> mm. But it's easier con to control for people who are more familiar with the piano chords rather than yeah. with a pipe organ. Um, like chords, which would be more necessary for the accordion. Right. I'm not the expert in musical instruments, though. <laughs> <laughs> Same here. I just do it for fun. Just learn it, you know, to sing songs. That is all. <laughs> exactly. And that's, that's how I like music. It, just for fun. Right. <laughs> Same. Uh, so what about how has school been going lately? 
Well, it's been going pretty well, but now we are on holiday because, you know, over here, like we have a festival known as Durga Puja. For that, we get a holiday for like a one, one whole month. So I'm wow. pretty excited for that. It has basically started, but the main festival actually starts from 1st October. Oh, well, I, this is the first time I've heard of the festival. What do you do in the festival? Well, it is uh, actually a puja of goddess Durga. We have a goddess uh-huh. known as Devi uh-huh. Durga. So we actually worship her uh, for a few days. Uh, uh-huh. So that is what, but basically the thing is, we get new clothes, we buy new clothes, we mm-hmm. eat a lot of tasty food. We, uh, like there are so many pandals they make over here and the, like the town is so beautifully decorated. So that is what I like about the festival. <laughs> Uh-huh. Are there some specific colors that go along with this festival for this goddess? Every color, like you know, it's colors. multicolored. Ah, okay, okay. Hmm. I know, I know that there are some uh, ideas. I don't know very much about all of the gods and goddesses, but I have seen like some gods prefer hmm. red, or or some festivals use red powder in yeah. their like festivals. But They're right. That sounds like a lot of fun. And I love holidays that have lots of food. (laughs) (laughs) Right. That's true. Will you help prepare the food for your family? Or will you guys order the food? Or is it going to be food bought from like festival stalls? Well, mostly during the festivals, we order food and, you know, very, really tasty food because we love to eat ordered food. You know, we are just going to chill at our homes and like order food and eat that. That is what we love. But this mm-hmm. time we are basically traveling. So uh, oh. there is a, yeah, there is a hill station over here in India known as Ladakh. And I'm like really excited to travel there. Uh, I've seen a lot of videos. Let's see how does it look really well uh-huh, in my uh-huh. eyes. And so it's a hill station. Is it to the north where like the foothills of the mountains start? Yeah, the Himalayas are there. So that is where Ladakh is. Ah, very nice. Yes. I've I've seen some pictures of the the lower hills of the Himalayas and mm. they always look very beautiful. So now I'm very jealous. You guys are going not camping, but going to go see nature. You're right. <laughs> That's true. And so your immediate family or is a, a large portion of your family traveling? Like, do you, are not aunts, uncles? <laughs> oh, well, like basically six of us are traveling. So my family and my uncle's family. So yeah, mm-hmm. just six of us. Uh, it's always mm-hmm. with more family. Right. Vacations are very lovely to go with family, but sometimes it's nice to be able to hang out with different people in your family. (laughs) That's true. (laughs) Every summer, uh, my father's side of the family has a camp out for three days. We go camping at a lake and my father has four siblings and they're all married with children. And so it was perfect time for me to be able to go and hang out with my favorite cousins go Mm. do swimming with them and go to the beach and I it was always very nice because there was no pressure to hang out with any specific person you were just there with everyone (laughs) right I also love family gatherings a lot like mostly during the marriages probably you know we all gather and that's so amazing like after probably one whole year we meet again all of us together that's such a good time yes yes exactly it's it's really cool it's like a for us it's like a time when you can catch up with the family right. once a year at least hmm. and yeah family gatherings are always fun my family really loves to play yard games hmm. like um have you heard Horseshoes before? Yes, I have. Yes, my uncles love to play horseshoes with my dad. <laughs> um, and there's another game which I don't believe that everywhere calls it the same, but in the United States we call it bocce ball. Um, okay, I, d- I haven't heard of that. <laughs> um, in the game, you throw a white ball into the field, hmm. and everyone has a specific colored ball. They have two that are like yellow mm-hmm. or red. 
and your goal is to try to get points by getting your ball to be the closest at the end. Okay. Mm -hmm. It's a very That's simple nice. game, but very entertaining. My family loves games. What about your family? Do you guys play games, either card games or yard games? <laughs> Yeah, well, sometimes we do play badminton. Like, we all love playing badminton. So we do play it sometimes. We love playing card games, though. Like, Uno and all those. We just, you know, we are going to sit down in our, like, a bed probably. And we are going to play. Like, one time it happened that we were playing and we didn't notice. It turned, like, I think it's 3 a.m. or 4 a.m. in the Oh morning. my. <laughs> and we were, like, playing. We wouldn't sleep at all. So that is how we love to, like, enjoy <laughs> That's true. I will say Uno games get pretty intense. <laughs> My family also really loves card games. Every Thanksgiving, we play card games inside after dinner. And Uno is something that we used to play when I was younger. And some of the games my father really enjoys like uh something called rummy which is like an old person counting game kind of <laughs> um and another game in which we all put uh coins in so it is called 31 and if you lose you have to put a coin in. and if you lose all your coins then you're out and the last person Mm -hmm. Okay. that wins the game gets all the coins Oh and my god. <laughs> It was, it was the best thing if you won the coins because you would walk around with the coins in your pocket and you would jingle them at your cousins. <laughs> it's not very much money normally, very small amount of money, but it's, it's the pride of winning. <laughs> so do you guys play Uno together Do you guys do anything else that is like an activity you guys prefer to do on vacations? Oh, uh, well, basically, I don't really go to like my cousin's homes at vacations. Uh, I enjoy at my home. I prefer to enjoy like with my mom and dad. Like, you know, just we three sitting together. We actually love talking a lot. Basically, that is the thing we love. We'd love to chat because most of the days we are like busy. I'm busy with my school. They are busy with their work. So that the vacation is the time when we can spend time together, like just chat, you know, what is happening, what is, Yeah. what else is going on. It's a chatting sometimes get intense, like, you know, we are talking about some serious issues and all that, but I just love That's, that. that's true. That's true. My, I also love to talk and my, my dad loves to talk a lot too. He'll talk to anyone on the street, almost standing in line. He'll start chatting with a stranger. So I get, I get my talkativeness from him. <laughs> Well, that's good because I basically love to talk, but with the people I know. When I'm outside, basically, I cannot speak with anyone in my neighborhood. I'm a, I'm a very introverted person outside. Everyone, are, everyone in my neighborhood knows me as the shy kid who doesn't speak a lot. But in fact, when I am with my friends or my family, I'm like the most talkative one in them. Which is very surprising for me because, of course, I've, I, I've been speaking with you twice now and you just seem so, uh, the term we use is bubbly or chatty. You, you seem like a person that would talk to everyone, but that's true. Sometimes looks can be deceiving. <laughs> I understand. When I was young, I was always shy when I first met people, and I would hide behind my mother. But once you once you started talking with me, and I felt I was safe, you could not shut me up. Hmm. That, that's basically me. That's exactly me. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's very funny. Sometimes um, in the evening, whenever I'm on the phone with my boyfriend at the end of the day, he'll be like, I want to go to bed. But I'm like, ah, oh, yeah, but let's talk about this really quick, really quick. One more thing. One more thing. <sighs> I just enjoy speaking. And that is why I think I like working so much with e other English speakers who are learning. <laughs> Mm. Right. That's great. Mm -hmm. And so you have the start of your vacation. You're not going to travel just yet. How are you spending your free time right now?
with no classwork? <laughs> well, basically, we get lots and lots of homework during these vacations. Oh, like, that's no. the worst thing. That's the worst thing ever. Like, I hate homeworks and especially holiday homeworks. Like, we get projects to make, you know, we have to make these project files and all those, oh, like, man. all those computers. And that's just so, it gets worse day by day. So, I have to do that right now. I can't waste my time because I'm traveling. I would lose yeah. those days. So, oh, no. Unfortunately. I understand. They give you large homework projects over the break so that you do not uh, get rusty with your skills, we might say. Oh, that's very (laughs) frustrating. I wish that you could just, as soon as you're done with the school day, you're like, free. But we can never be that. Like, the end of the school day, we are all all going to be happy and they're going to give us a paper. Hey, this is your homework, you know? (laughs) <laughs> that's it all right Adrisha, i think our time so i'll say yeah. thank you again <laughs>